can measure. So now you're saying, Kelsey, how do I, how am I going to measure? You just told me to throw out my scale. That's my measurement. I have a different measurement for you. So here we have the fitness continuum. So this is your life. This is a journey that you may have throughout your life. Now sickness can happen at 30, it can happen at 100. So there's no direct path here. There's no overnight fix, there's no 30 day fix. There's no shake that's gonna get you there. You need to put in the work. As we start to eat better, and as we start to exercise more, strengthen our muscles, we move over into this wellness stage where you're able to complete daily tasks independently without assistance. So weight loss may happen within this journey, or it may not. You can be over here and need to gain weight to move into a healthier you. Nothing to do with the number on the scale. It is where you are in your fitness journey. So the closer I get to fitness, the longer I am prolonging my life. That is the opposite of giving up, okay? That is giving up on the number, but that is not giving up on your health and wellness. Fuck the scales. Right? Gave you a new scale. How can I see this? How can I hold it? I mean, I can give you this, but how can I, how can I see this? So I weigh myself every day and that's how I know how fit I am. Wrong. I told you why. That doesn't tell you how fit you are. You've seen it on Instagram. 150 pounds, carrying too much body fat, not, not a healthy place. Same girl, 150 pounds, jacked up. She's at the healthiest she's ever been in her life. How do we explain that? They weigh the same. I'm going to tell you how I explain it and I'm going to tell you how we measure fitness. By completing these tasks, each week we give you workouts, task completion, time domain, they, they vary, constantly vary, to test your fitness in several different aspects and to test your health. How can you test if you are getting fitter? You time these workouts by recording your weights. Get off the scale and record how much weight you lifted today. Get off the scale and decide, and record how many reps you did in a certain time domain. That's what I'm talking about when we're looking at how we're going to measure and how we're going to gauge fitness outside of the scale. So if a year from now, if you did our challenge for 100 burpees for time, when you finish in 20 or 30 minutes this past summer and next summer you are finishing in under 10 minutes, that's your fucking scale right there. You know that your metabolic conditioning has increased, your body fat has gone down because you're able to move it better, and you're living an overall less restrictive life because you're able to move better. You fall down, you get back up. You're living a less restrictive life. Trust the journey, trust the process, and trust the fact that you are, you are moving towards a healthier you and you're gonna see that progress. Now, if you're like, Kelsey, I don't give a shit about how fast I can do burpees. I don't give a shit about carrying the mulch. Someone else is gonna do it for me. I give a shit about looking like a fucking fit human. The benefits of being able to complete these tasks is you also look the part. Your body changes. So if you wanna see what, if you're like, I'm, I'm getting off the scale, but I wanna see the changes, you just look in the mirror. You don't need a scale to tell you. You look in the mirror and you say, I am a fitter human because along with increasing your fitness, your body fat goes down because your body no longer needs to carry it. You're, you increase your metabolic conditioning, body fat drops. You, you increase your weights, muscles pop. You're gonna get the same benefits that you wanna see in your body, okay? All right, ladies, this was Fuck the Scales. I love you all.